So let's talk about Mercury conjunct to Saturn in the composite chart. This tends to lead to some unimaginative communication. Uh, the scope of the communication tends to be quite small. It is something that's having the effect of formalizing how we communicate and limiting what that communication is going to be about and how we go about it. We're going to talk about petty things or things that are not consciousness expanding things. Things that are um, more uh, routine or already known or uh, more about the daily life, not, not deep things. So we don't learn a lot from each other when we have this particular conjunction because of how it limits what we talk about and how we talk about and how we think. The ways in which we mentally blend are not conducive to growth. They're not conducive to letting in anything new. Saturn operates on a principle of formality or restriction. So this is not an aspect that invites more or uh, contributes to more. And so rigid thinking, uh, shared opinions that are rigid and become more crystallized over time, that can become a problem with this aspect because we aren't offering each other anything fresh in the realm of ideas or opinions or conversation. So we aren't blending in a way that brings in uh, expansion and so we're going to enforce what's already in place so we're going to force the blended opinions that are already there so um, the ideas become more concrete over time between the two of us so this conjunction also doesn't make talking or sharing or conversation easy it's not natural we have to formally bring things up and we have to be very, very clear. And a lot of times we aren't just going to get what the other person is saying. Being on the same wavelength is not going to be easy mentally when it comes to this particular uh, aspect. Planning can be a strong point with this conjunction. This is actually a really good aspect to have in like a business relationship or a uh, teacher student relationship because you build formal structures and plan uh, for t material things plan for retirement um, the agenda is very well thought out with this particular aspect so the way that you put your heads together is actually very businesslike and you're very deliberate with how you go about your plans as a couple. So you may seem boring, uh, but you're probably going to retire earlier than the people around you and probably have more than you need because you're really good at planning for and um, then providing for what may come. So we're seen as a conservative couple, at least in this pocket of the relationship when we have this aspect, seen as conservative with how we approach success as a couple, how we build things, how we become a social success. And we have a very good capacity uh, for delayed gratification when we have this particular conjunction in a composite chart. So we may be a bit unimaginative and we may be a little bit boring when it comes to how we go after things, but this can be a very successful combination in the right kind of relationship. And if we have other things that are offering maybe uh, some more either romantic or consciousness enhancing or expanding um, 
opportunities in a relationship, then we can have some balance to this. But it is a, more of a methodical way in which we are combining our ideas, planning, and uh, uh, taking the steps towards materializing our blended agenda. So hope that was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my channel and like my video. You can find me on the internet at Truth and Aspect Astrology, Facebook, Instagram, other social media. I also have a subscription option to my website where I have lots of other videos over there and I'm always adding um, videos weekly over there. So lots of other content there. We also have the chat room that we get together with almost daily and I make a weekly question and answer subscriber video as well so you can submit questions and I respond to those personally in video format so find me over there if you're interested in more content and yes I do private consultation and I'll be back super soon with more super cool videos. Bye!